Hi guys and welcome to my channel at Bunny Hollow Crafts. We're going to make an Easter basket today. These were very inexpensive finds at Michael's and they are all on sale. So let's get to it. Alrighty, I have not messed with flowers very much in my lifetime. Um, but I figured, hey, how hard can it be? These were so easy to tear apart. And so I tore them apart and then kind of spread them out and then just decided what I wanted to go where. So why an Easter basket? Well, I'm, I'm young at heart, but that's about the only place. <laughs> I haven't had an Easter basket probably since I was 10 or 12. And uh, the other big part of this excitement is I gave up candy for Lent. I decided to do something that would be really difficult because of course our Lord and Savior Oh my gosh, has he, did he make a sacrifice for us? So I decided that would be the best thing I could do. So every time I've wanted a chocolate covered peanut or oh, Snickers bar, and little M&M, all my favorites, I just said, nope, and thank you, Lord. All righty. So I decided also, I showed it to my husband. I said, is this silly? And he said, no, why aren't you making me one? And I said, because yeah, I'm not making you one. And of course, that gave me the idea, what do I think? And of course, I should make him one. So I had a lot of fun doing them both. And um, blue is my favorite color, but um, in the end, I, I did add a little of the pink. I just bought it because it seems like they were on sale and I probably should add in a little pink, but pink has yet to make an appearance, but I assure you it will. And in the end, when I put in the fabric to uh, just line the basket, I just laid a piece of fabric in there from Hobby Lobby and uh, laid a lot of candies and things. You can really not even see the flowers anyway. But I had a lot of fun with this. I got my husband his favorite little peanuts and uh, his York uh, peppermint patties. And I found a little moose door hanger or coat hanger for the house in Utah. So I'll put that in his basket as well. So there they are, guys. If you have not seen Daphne's Diary, I got that at Barnes & Noble. Take a peek. It's a very good crafty magazine. Thank you for watching, guys. Happy Easter.